everyone. Welcome to The Good Doctor's Diagnose for Wednesday, August 12th. I am Dr. Donnelly. And today, on this kind of food for thought conversation, I would like you to think about, how do I put this? How hard it is right now. Not to dwell on it, not to dismiss it, not to kind of do either one of those extremes that most of us are doing every day to function. What I'd like you to do is think about it and think about what it means. Think about what it means for you. Think about what it means for people you love and people you work with. Because even people who are acting or telling you that these times are not affecting them, it's simply not true. We are at a time of massive global cultural and systemic shifts in how people not only see the world, experience the world, and access the world. For instance, while America is incredibly focused on its own coronavirus response, different countries around the world are handling it all the same, and we'll be interacting with those people someday. And some of us in global marketplaces are interacting with them now. How we interact with them will change moving forward. I was supposed to be visiting um, some friends in Uganda in a couple of weeks, and obviously that's not happening now. But Uganda is a country that's reporting a lot of really low numbers, and common wisdom is that simply because they don't have the tests. All of this is rage-inducing or grieving. All of it is everything is annoying from not being able to do your normal routine. Everything is panic inducing, especially trying to figure out maybe how to send your kids back to school. Everything is a lot of emotions. But we're all carrying a little bit too many of them. So in, in turn, and all of this is stress. So think of it this way. Your body is designed to understand fight or flight, right? Well, there's also freeze. Right now, most of us are probably vacillating between all three of those on a regular basis. But those are really hormonal responses. When you flee from something or you freeze about something or you fight something, there's a lot of hormones and chemicals released into your body. And if you don't do something with them, if you don't release them, if you don't, they just kind of keep building up. So the best way to complete that cycle, to kind of finish it, which is what Emily and Amelia Nagoski talk about in their incredible book, Burnout, is to physically move your body for anywhere from 20 to 60 minutes a day, but also to kind of choose. And if you can't move your body, do a, there's meditation exercises and things like that, but you can't just ignore it, nor can you dwell on it. You have to acknowledge it, understand what it means, and then let it go and move on. And that's not a cheap, like, you know, let's let everybody pretend that they're a Disney cartoon and we'll all live in fortune cookie pillow, you know, stitch pillow wisdom. It's a legitimate medical thing. And so today, in the middle of August, when, when this all started, a lot of us thought life would be back to, you know, pretty decent rhythms by now. But we didn't understand the disease. We didn't understand human capacity to ignore disease. And we didn't really anticipate quite a lot of these things it's starting to get really, really a new phase of like, oh my God, for a lot of people. So I'd encourage you to think about what that actually means. How you feel today could be very different than how you felt in the year of March, and it's going to be very different than how you may feel in, in November. Give yourself the space for that, but again, you gotta acknowledge it. So a little bit different for a GDD, but it's been on my mind. I reread Burnout this past weekend. We'll be recommending it in, uh, again, I think I've recommended it before, but we'll be talking about it at length again. It's a very important concept of understanding how your body's chemicals work so that you can put them uh, to best use instead of working against you. So that's what we've got for Wednesday, August 12th. We'll see you again next week with more Good Doctors Diagnose. Bye. Mm -hmm.